was to come up for hearing once again tomorrow in the Asansol court uh, has received threats and a letter that has come in, in fact has sent out that letter to the police as well. The Calcutta court has also now taken cognizance of the issue. But what do you make of this? Because the timing is A, extremely crucial, B, this is a very, very sensitive case now at the moment given the CBI findings also. No, it, it, the whole incident smacks of a conspiracy. It's a, it's a clear, because no one in their uh, clear mind, sensible mind, who are accused, they will not do something like that. It is the only case of CBI may put the conspiracy to get something favorable in front of them, because they know so far they could not find any substantial thing. Whatever they are leaking to media, there is a media trial has started. But in front of the court, they could not produce much thing. So that's why they have taken a different route about manufacturing some conspiracies, arranging some letters, etc. So that the case takes a different turn. Because so far, we have seen the total media trial is being conducted and CBI or ED, they are leaking information to media. And on that base, basis, a narrative is being propagated through media. Sir, the fact remains that we can only go by facts, Mr. Majumdar, at the moment. You know, minutes ago, we broke down details of some of the damning allegations made by the CBI. This is what the CBI has uh, taken up with the Asansol court. And now we're picking up details of the same judge who is currently hearing the case, who was again, who was again to hear the case tomorrow, received this kind of a threat. We're putting out that letter as well that he's now uh, brought to the attention of Registrar of Calcutta High Court. How can we just outrightly dismiss those allegations, sir? Because in, in, in proper, sensible mind, any accused person or accused party should not try to disturb the mind of a judge. That's a common thing. Who will try to, you know, uh, uh, disturb the mind of a judge? Actually, this whole thing smacks of some conspiracy. In a common sense, no one will write such letters knowing that it will come out and it will create some ripple. It's a, you please uh, use your common sense. Sir. That is only benefit. My common benefit. sense suggests that if a threat letter is being sent to the judge who is hearing the case, the pressure that you are talking about that's likely to mount on the judge is not likely to mount on the judge, uh, you know, against Anubrata Mondal. It's likely to mount on the judge in favor of Anubrata Mondal and that's where it becomes extremely problematic.